Welcome Year 6. I'm really um, sorry that you can't be with us at Featherstone High School in person, but I'm delighted to be able to show you how to make a symmetrical mask inspired by masks from around the world. This is the equipment that you will need. You will need some coloured paper, especially black paper as your base, and then some alternative colours to add. You'll need a pencil, scissors and a glue stick. So hopefully that is okay. We are going to then make a smaller version of this. As you can see, that this is a mask that has definitely been inspired by the Orient, an Oriental mask, and it is completely symmetrical. This is how we are going to make it. You are going to start with having a piece of paper like so that you will place on here. You are going to fold that piece of paper into half, just like this. And then we are going to create our first symmetrical shape. This is a shape that I have done earlier and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to select your piece of paper. I've chosen red that time, but I think this time, just to be different, I'm going to choose a piece of purple paper. I first thing I am going to do is I am going to fold my piece of paper in half because I am going to make a symmetrical line. This is what I did in this one. As you can see, it was folded in half and then when I opened it up, it became symmetrical. And so we're going to do exactly the same. I am now going to draw my design on here. So I'm going to use this as my centre point because I want it to open up this way. I'm not going to draw on the opening side, I'm going to draw on the folded side. That is super important or otherwise it won't work. And then I'm going to draw half my design. I'm going to start with some curves. So I'm going to use, this is going to be quite a curvy one. I'm going to come around and I'm going to draw bit of an arch like that, maybe come around like that, have a curve and then bring it round like this. I'm actually just making this up. I mean, being inspired by looking at the lovely mask that were on the PowerPoint, but now I'm just going for it. So that's my shape. What's it going to look like when I've opened it up? Is it going to be as exciting as that one? We'll have to wait and see. So then I'm going to use my pencil and cut round the lovely shapes that I have done. Let's take a little bit of time, probably not that exciting to watch, which is why I've done the, this is the one that happened earlier, because it was a bit too complicated. So I am just going to do this as quickly as I can because then I can add this in, even though you might not have time to do this. Aim to do at least three layers. If you can get more layers of, of coloured, symmetrical shaped patterns to build up your mask, then that would be even better. But we just see it's all time dependent on how much time you've got in your lesson. So you can see I'm cutting around these shapes, I'm following the line, moving the paper around as I'm cutting to make it easier for me, and I'm moving it all the way around. I might even come in from this side again, just so it's easier, so I'm looking at which is going to work most quickly and easier when I'm cutting with scissors. There we go. That's it. Oh, take them all away. That's it. That's it. And then I'm cutting around here. There we go. Last little bit. And let's have a look. It's, oh, it's not the last little bit. There we are. Turn that into a point. There. Right. And I'm going to put my rubbish neatly on the side so that I can put it away in the bin at a Oh wow, I'm really pleased with that, super like that. That is going to be my symmetrical shape that I'm going to make here. And then I'm going to add my symmetrical shape over to the bit over the top. Oh, now you know what? I actually think this base was really nice. That was the one I did earlier. 
I'm going to actually put that one over the top like that. So that is going to be my design. I've cheated a little bit. I'm speeding up because obviously I want to show you more tar more things. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some more. I'm going to do exactly the same principle as I did before. I'm going to take another piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half. You don't need such large sheets of paper as I've got so because you, you don't want to waste it. If you're feeling super, super confident, you could do it without even drawing it, but I wouldn't really recommend that because you're just starting out. But you could give it a go. There we go. So I've got my shape. That's going to be my nose. I think I'm going to have that as a nose there. This is a shape I've done earlier. I'm going to put that in over the top. See how I have lined everything up into the center point so it's completely symmetrical. I have not put them randomly like that because if I had done that, it would not be symmetrical. So the most important thing is that you are going to keep everything on your symmetrical line. Everything is your halfway mark. Otherwise, it won't work. It always has to be in your symmetrical halfway line. That is super important. Now, you haven't got a huge amount of time, so we're not going to do many, many, many layers like the ones here. As you can see, this has been built up. It's got really intricate detailed pieces in the eyes. It's overlapped on the layers here. It's even got a tongue. So they've really gone to town. They've done amazing stuff. And this one, this one here is another student's work. They've even added colouring pencils and designs to theirs. So you can really develop your work if you've got more time to do so. But obviously this is a shorter exercise. Here we go. You can see that we're adding there. Now, key missing thing that we are missing, and I'm sure if you were in the room, you'd be shouting at me. It's like, where are the eyes? Where are the eyes? So we're going to put some eyes in. So again, I'm folding my piece of paper in half. And again, I'm going to do some eyes. And you know, you know what? I want my eyes to be exactly the same. So I'm going to fold it into four and I'm going to do them all at the same time. So I'm going to do some shapes like this for my eyes. Hopefully that will work. Oh, there we go. And I've got two eyes done exactly the same time. So I've got my two eyes there. Okay. Obviously I haven't got any pupils in or irises or any detail like that. I could do that now. I'm just going to put in a few quickly just to show you how to do that. And then, of course, the next job is gluing it all down, which is like so. I've stuck my eyes in. So when you're gluing it all down, move your sheet of paper away, lift up. Whoops, I'm going to move this away. Lift up very neatly so you've got it all together so you know which ones you're doing and move them off together so you've got them off the page and then just lift it off like so and then start with your first one as I said the most important thing is to keep your symmetrical point so you're going to put in your glue glue all around keep make sure that your glue is done on the center and then you'll bring it out to the edges just so that all your little edges are going to be glued in and then you place it down so it's completely and totally in the center like so and then you use your hands just to press down on either side just make sure it's all nice pressed if there's a bit that hasn't glued just use your little bit of glue on the side to press down so it's all nice and neat and then you're going to go on do your next one until you've glued all of the different shapes which really don't, I'm not sure I'm going to do that video all the way to the end because I bet you're really really keen now to start your own and do your best how which way we're up as I'm going to do that just line up your points so they're symmetrical so they are the same and then stick them in it might be a bit different how you've done your middle design but that's fine that's absolutely fine and then you can go for it from there. If you know what you're doing, you've just done your layout, you've already pre-planned, then it's a case of just laying it in, putting it in your design and sticking them in so that they're working. I'm working really fast here, but you take your time 
How did I do that one? I don't think I did like that that last first time. But never mind. There we go. And then your eyes and your bits to be stuck in because we haven't got huge amount of time allocated to this. Keeping them set symmetrical for all times. And then you can, you know, you can go for it. You can put your eyes in, you can put your pupils in, you can put the details in, depending on how much time you have left in your lesson to do this. You might be able to develop this afterwards if your teacher gives you time. Anyway, so that's it. Um, thank you very much for listening. We're really, really looking forward to seeing you um, next in September and welcoming you into our art department. Um, thank you and goodbye.